passing, and if I do, and everybody today, the social media, and you, you know, when you get updates on your phone, the sports center, and everything, and your name's in them, obviously, you're going to see that. But yeah, at the end of the day, I don't worry about it. It's not, it's not something that consumes any uh, any bit of the, my thought process at all. I just, uh, like I said, I did. I did when I had a say in the matter. I don't have any say in the matter. I just, uh, I won't. I'm not going to be caught off guard if something happens, but at the same time, I'm uh, getting ready. Is there anything I got to do uh, this right here? Is it kind of a, a, a good thing on either side because you, you chose to be back here? You like playing for the White Sox, but obviously if you're going to get traded, it's going to be no contender. Right. It's got a chance you know, in the postseason. Yeah, leaving Chicago, leaving the place that, like you said, you chose to come back to be yeah. with a group of guys to, to have a chance to win, to win in the city, you know, to be as close as we were last year to getting in, having a chance to win 11 games, and uh, be a world champion. And that, Felt awfully good about uh, you know where we were coming this season and to uh, to not play the way we have and uh, it's been disappointing. And, and, but that being said, leaving all my buddies, the relationships I've made over the almost the five years I've been here, uh, it would be tough. But at the same time, it would be hopefully going to a a, a better position in the standings and, and having a chance to do what we all uh, as athletes try to do, and that's to be a world champion. So. Uh, just uh, let the next few days play out. Uh, it'll be normal for me, I promise you. That. You said that you never thought about it. Did the idea of if Garza goes back and starts the dominoes to fall? Did you ever? You know, I, I me knowing what I know about baseball and just thinking of leverage and stuff, I mean, you think Garza is, is probably the, the, the biggest name out there, so to speak. And you uh, think other teams would wait till that set the market and, uh, and kind of happen before. That's my mind. Uh, uh, that's my general manager. <laughs> <laughs> how, how much yeah. more prevalent is it now to, to talk about the possibility of the, the call yeah, everyone yeah. talks about it than it was early in your career, just you know, the trade deadline? You still have another you know, nine days. Right. You know, I mean, uh, listen, I, I'll talk about it when you guys ask me questions about it. I, I don't, you know, I, like I said, I'm not going to be caught off guard. I understand there's a possibility of me being moved. Um, so you prepare yourself uh, in life. That, that could happen, you know, you, you know, act as if you're oblivious to the matter. But at the same time, you got to come to work today, and I got to get ready to pitch against the Detroit Tigers. I got to be uh, all in here to find a way to back Chris Sell tonight and, and uh, be a good teammate to find a way for us to win today. And it's, you know, it's just real, you know, black and white for me. So that's the way I go about it. Jake, I don't know if you.